In my continuing quest of encouraging people to use local shops and um, businesses for their goods, instead of just using the big supermarket chains, I am doing another review on uh, a local shop called Delhi 58. It is in Loughborough. It's on Ward's End. And uh, that's a picture of the shop. Can you see that? Not the best, is it, I suppose? Um, yeah, it's the Deli at 58. Two ladies run it. And as I was walking back to my van, uh, do you like my glasses, folks? I've had some new ones from Wilco's. £2.50, uh, I think they were. And I've even bought myself a, a Larry Grayson cord that keeps getting stuck behind my ear holes. Um, uh, I went in. I was as I was walking back to the van. Um, these cheese straws caught my eyes. I thought, I've got to have them. They were massive, right? So uh, I popped in. There were two ladies there. They were the place looks immaculate. It really does. It's got loads. You could actually see. Uh, you could actually spend a fortune in there. Um, but they got all different kinds of breads and olives and cheeses and everything. Loads and loads of stuff. So I went in and I thought, right. Well, I wanted the cheese straws. So now, once again, I haven't got the price on there. She did actually ask me if I wanted the receipt. And like I completed it, because I didn't want any more paper thrown in the back of the van, I said no. So I bought two cheese straws, and uh, the wife and the child had one yesterday. And look at that. What do you think of that? Is that a cheese straw or what? I mean, my granny could cook cheese straws. But um, I think these are a little bit something special. And... the. the it's a, a, the visually impaired. It is one second. Got me tape out. It is nine and a half inches long, a nine and a half inch by two and a, approximately two and a half. In some places, it goes three inches wide. That is a monster straw. That is monster, monster, isn't it? Look at it. And I can smell the cheese and everything from here now. So I'm going to bite into it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's true. That is, that is the cheesiest cheese straw I have ever had in my life. Mmm. Mmm. She did tell me what cheese to use. And like a complete idiot, I forgot. But it's nice little bits of baked on cheese like that. It's gone hard. But it's always, always a favourite. It's like a puff pastry. It's like a puff pastry. And they just twisted it. And I suppose it's a cheese twist, isn't it? It's not a cheese straw. But the cheese is to die for. Absolutely lovely. You get a hint of mustard. You've got the herbs and the spices on the outside. People, if you live in Loughborough, mm, or you have to pop into Loughborough, look up the Della because the Arab. So much stuff. I'm going to have to go back there again. Mm. It's just so full of flavour. It's one of the cheesiest cheese straws I, or cheese twists or whatever. And it just, the pastry is so light. Oh. Mm. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. 
I hate to say this, but that is better than what my grandma made. And my grandma could cook. And um, this is better. So I don't know how you make them, girls. Look, the cheese there. Oh, God, it's lovely. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm going to put that to one side. Because while I was in there, and I was paying, I saw something on the top of the counter. And it was this. And once again, me being professional, I forgot to keep remember what it were. It's a nice little custard tart of some kind. I don't know whether it's custard or not. I'm going to turn that light off. Does that make it better? Nice, warm, glowing yellow. The, the pastry is nice and it's it's hard, but it's not. It's just a good, nice casing. It's not, not going to break your teeth, I don't think, when you bite into it. So here we go. Oh, my God. Awesome. Once again, absolutely brilliant. I don't know who these girls are. I've never spoke to them before in my life. They probably thought some kind of skinhead thug was coming through the door when I walked in. Not meaning to be rude. I'm putting it in Blue Van Man words. It's like a lemon tart, but the lemon is so gorgeous. It's so sweet and soft and it's like velvet on your tongue. The pastry is perfect all the way through. It's got a nice tart of crust in, but inside it's so smooth as well. It's just the ideal case um, to carry this lovely, lovely lemony liquid. Mm. Absolutely top draw. I bought two of each. I think it cost me around a tenner to get these. But they are absolutely wonderful. If you want to treat the wife, the girlfriend, or the husband, or the boyfriend, your mum, your dad, your whatever, go down to the Delhi 58. And if they like cheese straws or lemon cur cur curd tart things, if that, I don't know what they are called, the hum, hum something. But they're on the top of the counter. They're on top of the work uh, counter thing. Um, buy them these. These are absolutely brilliant. You ain't going to get better than these. That deli is an absolute gem. Mm. What a find. Why did I not go there years ago? Why, when I started doing all these reviews, did I not pick the deli 58? It's tremendous. Mm. So, folks, what I'm saying is, if you live at Chapel St. Leonard's, if you live at Chapel St. Leonard's, you're not going to drive all the way over there from there to Loughborough to try the Delhi 58. If you live in the Loughborough area, you've got to try the Delhi at 58. But if you don't, what I'm saying is, people, You've got to give these places a chance. You've got to help and encourage these local businesses. Because if you don't do it, all these little shops in these places will just shut down and die. And your community will die. So, yeah, sometimes you might pay a little bit more. But that was quality. And it's well worth doing it. It's well worth doing it. So, people, get off your backsides. Go and support your local shops. Go and support your local businesses. Because I'll tell you now. Tesco's won't care. 
Get it. Get out there. Go on, do it. Delhi 58. Shit hot. Lovely. Laters.